Hello, in this lesson we are going to examine the slot sketch tool, but before we do that, let's begin a new sketch in the front plane. And returning to the sketch ribbon, notice we do have an icon for slot, but also notice next to it we have a drop down arrow, which represents that we have more than one slot option. So if I click the drop down arrow, notice we have straight slot, center point straight slot, three point arc slot, and center point arc slot. We will begin with straight slot. Now the property manager opens, like other commands we have seen. Notice how the graphics are detailed for each option. The numbers represent the order that you will select the points for creating each one of the slots. So we will begin with a straight slot, but before we do that, notice we have add dimensions. This will add dimensions to the slotted features as you create it in the screen. This is very handy. It saves you the time of later on going to the small dimension command and adding dimensions manually. This will do it for you automatically. So we are going to leave this checked. Right below this, you can choose whatever you want slots to be dimensioned, center to center or the overall dimensions. We will stay with center to center and then begin our straight slot. So I'm going out to the screen, select my first point, followed by a second point. Now it is center to center distance and my third point is the width of the slot. Now, if I close out of the slot command, I can double click on the smart dimensions and update the size of the slotted feature. Going back into the slot command, I'm going to center point straight slot. And notice, our first point is going to be the center point of the slot itself. The second point will be the center point of one of the radiuses of the slot and the third point signifies the width of the slot. So going out to the screen, here is my center point and then the center point of one radiuses and then the width of the slot. The third option is three point arc slot, center point center point the third point is going to be the center point or the midpoint of center line of the arc and the fourth point will signify the width of the arc so going on and select it pick my first center point second center point and notice my third point as i move my cursor back and forward i can control the direction of the slot I will go ahead and select then the width of the slot. Notice, the all dimensions are applied. Radius, the width of the slot, and the angle between the centers. The last option is center point arc slot. And notice, the first point we select is the center of the slotted feature itself. So, first point, second point, and notice, as I move my cursor in this direction, the preview of the center line. However, I move it in this direction, notice again the preview of the center line. I select the third point and the fourth is the width of the slotted feature. And again, we have the same dimensions that we do with the last option. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.